Hi, I'm Clint Engel with Furniture Today. We're at High Point Market and uh, we're in Center Point in the Corinthian showroom and I caught Jake Jabs of American Furniture Warehouse nice and early because I'd heard a few rumors I wanted to ask him. And one of them has to do with, I, we keep hearing since maybe even Las Vegas market before then that you were looking at the Houston market. Well, there's, you know, there's rumors, you know, we're going to Vegas, there's rumors we're going to Albuquerque, there's rumors we're going to whatever. And uh, you know, we, what we do is we research the market. You know, as you know, we researched Vegas, we researched Tucson, we researched uh, Albuquerque and so forth. So uh, what you do is you, 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 you what's called testing the waters. But uh, right now, I don't want to deny or confirm because it's, I'm not ready to do that. I'll, I'll let you know when we're okay. when we want to make a firm commitment. Well, can I ask you? So you you mentioned some others. I think yeah. you mentioned Las Vegas right. and well, Tucson. 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 Yeah. Uh, what is it about those, Houston? What is it about those markets that would be right. appealing to you? I mean, why why are those possibly of interest? Well, first place today, you need to have a, a good freeway location because you know, advertising is tough today. You know, paper. Nobody's reading the papers. Uh, you know, TV so far. So you got to have a good location. That's pretty powerful. Plus, you got to work with the city on, on uh, tax rebates and, and uh, all of this, the LED signs and so many things you need to do today to open a, you know, that's, these are $30 million stores. These are not, you know, $10,000 stores. So you're going to spend $30 million in the market building a 400,000 square foot warehouse showroom. You want to make sure that it's the right thing to do. Would you need more than one store in those markets? Oh yes, yeah. It's, uh, you know, in the big markets, you need two or three stores, four stores. Yeah. I heard another rumor a while back too that last market I did a story about Amazon changing their program to try to encourage more uh, furniture stores to do to be, get on their marketplace. Right. Yeah. I had heard that you were looking at it. Is there any truth to that? Well, uh, yeah, we're not we're not going to uh, do that with Amazon. Can you say whether or not you actually looked at it though? Looked at the possibility? Of yeah, we, we 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 met with Amazon. We talked to them and, t and met with them, and and uh, we tried to negotiate that 15 percent down, which they wouldn't negotiate down. <laughs> so, uh, furniture isn't made to be sold on Amazon or on the internet. Period. But you sell on the internet. Yeah, we sell it, we deliver it in our trucks. Our trained delivery drivers that know how to deliver it without damaging the furniture or damaging the house. And, and then it's all, we also have service techs and things like that where we'll take care of it after the sale. That's what we do. We're professionals at that. We're professional furniture people. We know how to satisfy the customer. We know how to make furniture look beautiful in a house. And that's what the internet can't do. And so many people buy, have bought furniture on the internet, and almost by the numbers, everybody I talk to says, would you buy furniture on the internet again? They said, no way. Because I had a bad experience. I hear that over and over and over again. Thank you, Jake, for taking the time. My pleasure.